Hi and welcome back to today's morning report. The chart closes on Tuesday the 7th of June with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hansit Markets. Let's look at cable now and lo and behold we've had another flip turnaround on cable with two more Brexit polls that have come out and basically just said the opposite to what they said yesterday which was that the Remain camp are going to be looking like they're going to win. Um, and that subsequently has driven cable higher. Um, so we've seen just in the last few days just the very reason why at the moment, certainly until the uh, referendum on the 23rd of June, you cannot stay in um, cable for any length of time um, in one direction because you'll get um, contrasting poll results, oh sorry, a contrasting opinion poll that um, completely flips around the outlook once again and uh, drives the market in the opposite direction. So that seems to have happened again today. So we're seeing a continuation of this very choppy, um, strong candle but um, lacking direction move in the last um, few, uh, few weeks. And subsequently we're seeing momentum indicators coming back towards neutral again. Uh, the, the sort of direction of the day is obviously higher because we've seen these uh, these two um, opinion polls that have come out and driven the market higher, driven sterling positive. Um, but uh, again, I mean, it's the, the momentum indicators are ultimately pretty neutral, aren't they? F RSI of around 50, MACD line is sort of fairly nondescript, and the stochastic sterling up, so mildly positive um, outlook, but again, as I said, sort of the um, very choppy moves in the last few days you can see here. Um, these are the um, sort of this is the weakness yesterday from the uh, two uh, two opinion polls that suggested that the um, Leave campaign were gaining ascendancy. But again, today this is a reaction today to uh, the news that um, the opposite was actually, or possibly even uh, possibly going on where by the Remain camp were in the lead. So we've seen continuous sterling strength. I mean, the um, the dollar weakness generally, or slight dollar weakness, is just drifting through, and that is obviously helping to support cable today as well. So two different aspects are driving cable higher today, but certainly the, um, the spike high um, from the overnight rally resistance at 46.43 is the initial line of resistance really, um, although you could argue I suppose 40, um, 45.90, uh, sorry 45.80, which was that sort of um, old support became new resistance so 45.80 is it is it also another line maybe you could be looking out for that's uh, about 20 ticks away from where we are now uh, above 46.43 is 47.23 which was the late May rally high as the resistance so um, you've got to be, just be very careful um, because obviously these opinion polls change pretty much on a daily basis and that's just going to just add to the volatility that we're seeing in cable and um, with no real direction and um, I would expect until the re referendum but um, plenty of intraday chops so I hope that uh, helps you and I wish you good luck in your trading and I'll speak to you later. Thank